Assalamu alaikum, my dear students, respectable parents and viewers. Welcome you all to the Naspur Government Girls High School online class. This is Musamut Rumalala, an assistant teacher in English, the Naspur Government Girls High School, the Naspur. I appear here with a new class of class 7. Today I will conduct a class on English first paper and today we try to focus on unit 3 in continuation of our previous class and today we will go through lesson 2. My dear students, how are you? Hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Though we are confined in our home and sometimes we have to uh, confront some odd situations which are not favorable for us and the cruel blow of COVID-19 is this type of situation and for this reason we cannot meet with each other and we cannot conduct the convention, conventional classes in our classroom with which you are habituated to. As a result, our uh, study and our teaching system has been greatly hampered to meet up the gap of our student and to give them some inspiration and to keep them keep near with them this is our little effort to continue the classes in online system so my dear student though uh, it is not uh, hundred percent we can give you but we are trying our best to meet your gap and to keep with us and you uh, we, we, we are trying to give you a feeling that we are not away from each other rather we are connected with each other so my dear student uh, please uh, be ready with your English textbook a pen and your exercise book. My dear student, in our previous class, we have finished reading and we have done, done some activities on lesson one of unit three. Today, we will try our best to go through the text of lesson two, unit three. And if we have enough time, then we will do some activities regarding this text. So, before going to the uh, main class, uh, it is mandatory for us to know the title of the lesson. So, before going to the title of the lesson, uh, I want to recall some memories which are very much dormant and sometimes very shining in your heart can you remember when you come to this school for the first time holding the finger of your parents you are a little one and you have a very curious eyes and you are very much excited when you enter the school for the first time yes I hope you have you can uh, guess the idea uh, you have a idea what will be the name or the title of our lesson yes the title of lesson 2 is Flora's first day at school so my dear student please write down the name of the lesson in your exercise book Lesson 2 and the name of the lesson is Flora's First Day at School in bracket 1. 
my dear student, uh, as I have informed you that English is a foreign language to us and it is very much mandatory and in it inevitable for a student to have a rich vocabulary to understand any text of any foreign language. So my dear student, uh, before starting the uh, lesson, before all lessons, we have some keywords and this is the, here is also the same and we have three keywords here. Uh, if you notice, then you will see the first one is recall, second one is add and the last one is chat. So write down the three words in your exercise book. Have you finished writing the three words in your exercise book? Now notice the synonym or meaning of this word. So our first word was recall, recall and the synonym or the meaning of recall is remember. Another synonym is recollect. Recollect. In Bengali, we can say shorun kora, mone kora. The next one is add. Add. And the meaning of add is join. Join and include. Join or include. Here, the next one is chat and though this very word is here presented uh, as a new word, but I think this very word is very much common to you and you are uh, very much familiar with this word as we are uh, using and uh, you also use this term while talking or sharing your feelings while writing through messenger and other social networking systems. So the meaning of chat is gossip or idle talk. Gossip or idle talk. So my dear student, hope you have understand the meaning of these three words and you will try to remember or recollect the meanings of these three words while going through the text. My dear student, notice when you will learn a new word, try to use that very word in your conversation, in your writing, then the word will be very much familiar with you and this new word will no more a new one to you. So my dear student, this is time to go through the text. Take your book in your hand and try to understand the meaning while I am going through the text, my dear student. Next week, Farabi comes to visit Flora in her house. They are having a chat. Can you remember your first day at school, Flora? Farabi asks. Oh yes, I can, Flora says. I can recall exactly what happened? Would you like to hear it? My dear student, my dear student, while going through the text, please uh, be conscious about the punctuation marks and the stress and intonation of your thought 
will be up and down while following the uh, punctuation marks. Otherwise, the meaning of the sentences will be changed. Okay? When you will go through a sentence which have a uh, note of interrogation, then the sound of your thought will be like a asking. Okay? Uh, so, here we have a line. Uh, oh, yes, I can. Flora says, I can stall. So, sorry, I can recall exactly what happened. Would you like to hear it? I would love to, says Farabi. Please tell me. Okay, says Flora. It was 2006. I was then six years old. One day, my mother said, Flora, are you going to start your, sorry, Flora, you are going to start your school tomorrow. I was very excited. I couldn't think of anything else. I was always thinking about the school, the teachers, and the students of our school. I couldn't even sleep all well at night. The next morning, mother, the next morning, my mother woke me up early in the morning. I had a bath and put on my best clothes. Then I had breakfast and started for the school with my mother. The school was not very far from our home, so we walked all the way. My dear student, uh, I must go through the text again because there, there are a lot of punctuation marks in this text and while going through the text, it is very much important for a student to understand the meaning of the sentences and to keep balance with the punctuation mark. Other will, the listener will not understand the meaning when you will read loudly the text. Next week, Farabi comes to visit Flora in her house. They are, they are having a chat. Can you remember your first day at school, Flora? Farabi asks. Oh, yes, I can, Flora says. I can recall exactly what happened. Would you like to hear it? I would love to, says Farabi. Please tell me. Okay, say, says Flora. It was 2006. I was then six years old. One day my mother said, Flora, you are going to start your school tomorrow. I was very excited. I couldn't think of anything else. I was always thinking about the school, the teachers, and the students of our school. I couldn't even sleep well that night. The next morning, my mother woke me up early in the morning. I had a bath and put on my best clothes. Then I had breakfast and started for the school with my mother. The school was not very far from our home, so we walked all the way. My dear student, repeated reading of any text will enhance your reading potentiality with understanding and if you are habituated this type of reading, then within a few years, you will be a fluent speaker of any foreign language. So my dear student, uh, I must inform you 
a grammar point here please i want to it this out <coughs> here notice uh, flora you are going to start your school tomorrow my dear student tomorrow means the next day and it is a touch of future and we know when we use future tense, we have to use an auxiliary verb, will or shall. But in that sentence, we don't have this type of sign or auxiliary verbs. Okay? I must write the sentence for you. You are. You are going to start your school tomorrow my dear student notice here we have tomorrow but we don't have any will or shall used in this sentence i must inform you that going to do go means java but here going to is used to express a future expression here and we can say that going to is substitute of will can you understand my dear student going to is substitute for will we can write no are going to we can write like this way you will start your school tomorrow if we don't want to use are going to then here we can write you will start your school tomorrow the meaning remains the same but it is a very standard and smart expression in English so we can use the nearest future and we can use this grammar point are going to and if our subject is he then the verb will be is if the subject is I then the verb will be am I am going to you are going to he is going to my dear student uh, while going through the text uh, if we want to learn a language correctly we must focus on the grammar points also my dear student uh, as i informed you in all my classes that English is an activity based subject and we have a lot of activities after we finished reading of any text so uh, here we have an instruction of activity B we are instructed and I am going through the instruction for you my dear student in B, activity B we are instructed to do some activity and for your better understanding i am going through the instruction of b activity say whether the following statements are true or false if false give the correct information my dear student take your text and try to go through the instructions and it is very important for you to understand the instructions and follow if you don't understand the instructions then you can't perform the work which is which is asked to you say whether the following following statements are true or false if false give the correct information number one farabi and flora are talking at 
school the next one number two flora is talking about her school number three flora first went to school at the age of six number four her mother dressed her in her best clothes number five flora walked to school flora walked to school my dear student uh, we have go through the text for two times and i must request you to go through the text more than two or three times when you are at home and try to give the correct answer of this true and false question and i am hopeful that you are habituated to solve this type of questions because we have solved a lot of questions in our previous class question number uh, here we have another uh, activity activity c fill in the blanks with suitable words fill in the blanks with suitable words and to do these activities you must go through through the text again and remember the recall or recollect the words which will be the best for the gaps okay my dear student and then we have a matching uh, in activity d match the words with their meaning so first one is checked second one recall third one exactly and the fourth one is excited and you have to match with the given meanings precisely feeling happiness a friendly conversation and fourth one is remember i must suggest you to do these three activities in your home and if you have any difficulties in your understanding and uh, doing these activities please uh, no in, in inform me through the comment box and here we have another activity e do you remember your first day at school write a short composition about it answering the questions below how old were you at that time try to recollect your age Try to recollect your age when you admitted in the school. We have questions here. How old were you at that time? Try to recollect how old are you at that time when you got admitted in our school. What is the name of the school you went to? What did you put on number four how did you feel before you started for the school number five who did you go with my dear student so these questions we inspired you to write something about your own experience of first day at school if i ask you to give a description of your first day at school in bengali then you can say a lot of sentences and you can express your feelings and your exp uh, your um, experience in bengali so try to think like that and to Try to translate your ideas and your experience in English. And these questions will help you a lot. First, how old were you at that time? You can start like this. When I, when I went to school for the first time, then 
I was only eight years old. And you can mention the uh, name of the year in your writing also. It was 2008 or it was 2012, 13, etc. And it is the it was the first time I entered the school for the first time. Then you have to write the name of your school. So uh, you are a student of which school? Undoubtedly, you should write the name of our school. Okay? And in that way, taking help from the given text, my dear student, taking help from the given text, you can write a beautiful composition from your own. And you need not to memorize the composition anymore if you are habituated to write this type of writings. My dear students, here I want to close the class and before uh, close the class, I must say you that don't be bored, don't be monotonous with this life, try to utilize your time in the best way and try to do something creative while you are at home and if you need to go to go out of your home then please wear your mask and when you will return outside from home please wash your hands with soap and water and try to drink clean water and try to take healthy food don't be habituated with junk food and fast food please try to take some exercise daily and try your best to say your prayers and we are very much hopeful that we can overcome this odd situation very soon and we can be with each other in our conventional class as we are in the past till then Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.